Hello and welcome to A Tavern for Tea, a little cute game developed by MPC, uh, MPCKC, available on itch.io. And yeah, it's just another cute game made by MPCKC, right? I played their games before plenty of times, and I will play another one. Just a little, you know, just a, another like cute, short little visual novel, if I had to guess. And well, we're serving tea for people. Let's see what happens. Click on the door. Let's go inside. An evening at the tavern. The tavern is empty, and the lights are dim. The owner stands alone behind the counter. I want to clean out some old inventory. Maybe some other time. I also, uh, I also enabled, because when you open the game the first time, there's some accessibility options, I guess. Um, so sometimes, I guess for people who have a hard time hearing, sometimes there's like little captions. I was like, eh, why not? You know, just leave it there. So like, uh, you can just simply read the text instead of hearing it, I guess. Anyway, maybe some other time. A customer came in. Someone dressed like an adventurer comes in and sits at the counter. Hmm. Aren't you from the other game, actually? I remember. You know, the gardening game? Sort of looks like him. I don't know. Pretty hot out, no, uh, pretty hot out tonight, right? What could I get you? I don't know. Something to calm the nerves, I guess. Uh, nerves, eh? I should have just the thing. Let's see. The owner starts preparing a cup of tea. You know, oh, I, ironically, I don't really like tea all that much, but anyway. <laughs> In order to brew tea, select three ingredients. If happy with the brew, serve the tea. Ah oh, yes, gameplay. Wow. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Um, mushrooms, dandelions, oranges, mint, I guess. Starfishes. And also, the power of darkness bottled up in the potion. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what any of this is. I imagine this is just magical tea ingredients. Why not? Well, how about a bit of mint, probably. Oh, spring leaf, okay. Um, tang tangy berry, sure. And uh, yeah, let's keep it simple for now. So about this? Peppery sea, a very simple tea. Calms, calms the nerves, I guess. Well, actually, can I get some help? Oh, actually, oh, okay. So it does, it does give you a little bit. So you should, like, choose something that would actually fit. So, like, a relaxing herb, light in flavor. Low fruits are very sour. A flower of fragrant petals. Seeds of a spicy bite. Sugary sweet with mushrooms and bitter vapor in a bottle. I mean, he wants something relaxing, right? So probably just spring leaf in that case. Let me try. Ah, uh, but I need three ingredients? Okay, so I can't just have only one? What did he say before? Like, something relaxing for the nerves, I guess? What would help? I don't know. Hmm, maybe mellow flower. And sugary sweet, maybe? Yeah, is it like it's kind of like Valhalla, you know? He's just making a drink for someone, except it's tea. No specific ingredients though, so like, hmm, sugary sweet maybe? Something sweet and something fragrant. Fragrant, fragrant. Brew. Ta-da. Spring classic. Okay. Maybe there's a maybe there's a like it's kind of cool actually. Maybe there's like a a particular type of tea from all the different combinations, actually. Which is, I imagine, quite a lot. You know, there's like three ingredients, six possibilities. Uh, serve. Hopefully this is good for this adventurer. The owner pours out a cup of tea. How's this? What is this? A hot cup of Spring Classic. Take a sip. How do you like it? Oh. This is nice. Relaxing, right? Feeling a bit better now? Huh? You seemed a bit nervous. Oh, why? Is it true that you only serve tea here? What? You think all taverns have to serve ale? No, I... That's not what I... <laughs> I'm just kidding around with you. What brought you here anyway? You're a new face. I came here because... I saw the poster. Oh, you saw that old thing? Wrote that myself, you know. I know I don't have the best handwriting. It's literally scribbles and also a line on <laughs> it. Still pretty proud of it though. I thought it looked fine. That's so? 
Well, if you've seen the poster, you know the drill. Inside these walls, you're just my customer. Same for anyone else who comes in. Nothing you say in this tavern leaves this tavern. It kind of reminds me of, um... What was that anime? I kind of forgot the anime was called. But it's like the same rule for that anime. It's all about how like you go into a cafe and like... Uh, in that in that world though, in that sci-fi setting, there's like robots. Like androids actually. But then if you go into that cafe, nobody knows you're an android or whether or not you're an android or a human. And the rule is, is that as long as that you're in that cafe, it doesn't matter what you are on the outside, you know? In the external world or whatever. It reminds me of that for some reason. I forget what it's called. I don't know. It was really interesting. Interesting anime. Unless you want to. Or unless you want it to. Just drink, relax, and have a nice night as yourself. That okay with you? Yeah. Great. You're really not gonna say anything. What do you mean? I mean, about me. Why would I? I mean, I'm... As I said, inside these walls, you're my customer. Nothing more, nothing less. All you need to tell me is what you want to drink. Sure, we can chat if you like. But I'm not gonna pry if you don't want me to. If you wouldn't mind, I think I'd like another drink. What do you have? Uh, do you have a menu? Not exactly. I usually just brew up whatever fits the situation. Fits the situation? Well, as I think you already know, this isn't your usual tavern. People come here because there's something they need. Be it a seat, some silence, a chat, or just a hot cup. I provide it. So you don't have a menu. Just let me know what you want. I, it's, 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 very, it's hard to say that. If you don't have a menu, that's kind of weird. I mean, I think some restaurants do that, right? It's like some very like, um, like very, uh, I don't know what we call them, but like very, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what we call them. I have actually have no idea. I was going to say like indie restaurants. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Anyway. Could you let me think for a bit? Take all the time you need. I'll be right here. Do you get a lot of customers? Not too many. Only a couple every night. And you can do business that do business that way. Well, I'm not really out here trying to get rich. I'm just a regular guy who likes brewing tea. On the poster it said this was a place for for people who aren't who they're expected to be. What did you mean by that? That? I don't like over explaining. Death of the author and all that, you know? What? It means whatever you want it to mean. Obviously, it meant something to you, right? Oh yeah, death to the author. I mean, if you didn't know, it means like, uh, like what? What? What do you? How do you interpret something if the author is like uh, theoretically dead? I guess. I don't know. Like you know, I don't know how to actually. I don't know how to explain it. Like, like if there's like a book or whatever, someone writes the book, and then you can interpret that story in many different ways. But like the author obviously has their own canon of what it means, you know, whatever their book or story means, but then uh, death of the author means like, does it really matter? Like, does it really matter what the author intended to do or does it matter how, like, what kind of emotion you got from that story, you know, how you interpret that story, I think is what, you know, death of the author means. Like, it doesn't literally, literally mean that they die, but it can also mean that, you know, they die, but, yeah, but it can also mean like, you know, does it matter what the author originally intended to do with their story, or is it matter like how you interpret it, you know? Anyway. This is something random. Obviously it meant something to you, or you shouldn't have, or you wouldn't have come here. That's I just provide this space for people who might need it. And if I can make a bit of gold while doing it, all the better. This is a very cushy job. Huh? How how did you afford this tavern in the first place? Did you rent it out? I don't know. I just yeah. Never mind. Do you have any recommendations for tea? What kind of tea do you normally drink? To be honest, I don't really drink tea. It's not my kind of thing. I don't like yeah, me too. I don't like hot I don't like hot drinks in general. Even like hot cocoa. Even as controversial as that is, I just don't like hot drinks. I don't know. I, don't like it. I prefer cold drinks. Uh what brought you here then? I guess I... 
I'll let you think of that for a bit. Meanwhile, I'll get you something too. Oh, another one. Someone with horns on his head and dark wings, uh, by his shoulders. I don't know why I can't read that. Dark wings by his shoulders comes in. Hey, slow night again. I have you know you're my second customer tonight. That's really nothing to be proud of. Oh, yeah. You have very similar faces? Uh, what are you doing here? Just getting a drink. That's all. But you're... Excuse me. What? I hope you haven't forgotten, but... Inside these walls, you're just my customer. That applies to everyone here. People just come here for a nice cuppa. Did I say cuppa? What does cuppa mean? Cuppo? Cuppa? Cuppa? Cuppa Joe? That's not gonna be a problem for you, right? Right. I was just heading out anyway. Thank you for the tea. Okay. Weird. Are they like, you know, hero versus villain? Or something? Sorry about that. Nah, what happens happens. It's too bad though. I think that guy could have done it with another kappa. Kappa? Kappa? Is that normal? Kappa? Kappa? I think kappa. Uh, everyone could do with more of your tea. You think? Nobody else brews anything like it. He won't get any discounts by burning me up. I mean it though. What's your secret? You always know exactly what to brew. It's just experience. After you brew as many cups of tea as, as I do, you just know, you know? Well, whatever it is is working. You have a kappa. Anyway, I'll have my usual. I need something sweet to wake me up. Gotcha. Your usual kappa. Coming right up. Usual, usual gray-faced emoticon. Uh, the owner starts to brew another cup of tea. Okay. I wonder if you can mess it up. I don't know. Oh, there's actually yeah some notes here. It's interesting. They like achievements or something. Get different endings. I don't know. Uh, of, can I save? Is there a way to save actually? No, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Yeah, as far as I know, there's unless I'm missing the button. There's no save. <laughs> so you only have one chance. Let's see. Well, he wants something sugary. Some sugar shroom. And maybe, you know, he's a demon, right? Not to get, not to stereotype him. Uh, but maybe he wants some dark tonics. Bittersweet? Bittersweet, maybe? And something that will wake him up. Mm, peppery? Brew? Smoky Potion. I don't know. Let me try that. I don't know if that sounds right to me. How about Sugar Shroom? Something to wake him up. So not probably not Spring Leaf. Maybe something... Fragrant as well. Fragrant. And then... Uh, spicy? Oh, that... Oh, what will that create? Hot Nectar. I mean, sure. <sighs> the owner slides a cup across the counter. Here. A cup of hot nectar just for you. Hot nectar. This is my usual. I always get dreamy potion. Damn it! Got it wrong. Did you forget? Of course not. And did you forget how to make it? Who do you think I am? This is just mellow flower, sugar shroom, and dark tonic. Oh, he, he did want the dark tonic. Okay. You think I forgot a measly three ingredients? I just thought you'd like to try something else today. Hmm. So what do you think? I guess this is sweet enough. It's not bad. What did you say it was called? Hot nectar. Hot nectar, hey? Eh? I'll keep that in mind. That probably could have gone better, though. You mean earlier? Yeah. No, uh, there wasn't anything you could have done. You have another chance to talk if you want. I don't know. It's not like we really have a chance to just... Have a drink and talk. Yeah, that. I think I'll call it a night, actually. So soon? Hmm. I'm not really in the mood to stay and chat tonight. Well, you can come back whenever you want. Thanks. Maybe next time you'll remember my usual. <laughs> hey, I said I didn't forget. Yeah, yeah, I believe you. Hmm. <laughs> Don't be like that. I'll be around again soon. Okay, well, I got that wrong. I wonder what happens if you get it right. You just... I don't know. Is it like Valhalla? You get extra endings if you do it right? I don't know. The horror man leaves the tavern. 
Okay, so I might have forgotten that his usual is dreamy potion. I guess there's no harm though. I'll just serve it in him next time. And I'll give the first guy a second cuppa too. Maybe then he'll stick around a bit longer. Okay. How much does it cost? Like, they don't, sl you don't just slide the money. So I don't know what it costs. Uh, oh. Okay. So there's, we just go again, I guess. Is it just restart the entire thing or? I don't know. The game over, you lose. Now there's line, lights are empty, and it says Lamaya's counter. It'll be a slow night. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so like um what happens now? Like do I do do I serve it again? Or get some can I get some help? Help please. The new guy wants something relaxing. Usual for horns is dreamy potion. Okay, we'll get some hints, okay. Test different ingredients. Try talking to horns alone or get adventure chatting. How do you do that? Hmm. Well, I can try something different. How about this? How about, uh... Something relaxing. Something sugary. And something, uh, pepper. Well, did I do this before? I don't remember. I think it's different. Sunrise Blend. How's this? What is this? A hot cup of Sunrise Blend. I you like it. It's nice. Relaxing it. It's gonna be nervous. Okay, it's the same thing. What's this button? Is it like... Is it like an autoplay or something? Oh. I kinda don't want to skip because I don't want to accidentally miss something. Really short game, by the way. You know, at least so as the last is what I've seen so far. It's pretty short, but maybe it's because I messed up. There might be more. Like, how do you make him stay? I don't know how to do that. You have something in particular? No. Brew tea. Oh, okay. well, there's. For some reason, we didn't have an option last time. So, sure. Brew tea. I will take requests though. And last time, I don't know. I don't know if I saw it. Maybe I accidentally skipped it. I don't. Know. I don't remember. But. Now we have an option to give him another, another, another cup of tea. Uh, I'll take requests if you have any. Nothing sour. Got it. Nothing sour. Start uh, brewing a fresh cuppa. Okay, something that doesn't have sour in it. <laughs> what if I just put sour stuff anyway? Uh, um, how about this? How about... Sour? Some... Something sweet, sour, and... Or actually, no, that's wrong. Because uh, he didn't want sour, right? He said not to have sour? Okay. I was wondering I immediately put sour stuff in it. That's wrong. Oh, something fragrant. Something peppery and sweet. All of that. I think I did that before, actually. Hot nectar. Mm. I will try something different. How about... Relaxing, peppery, and sweet? Nothing sour though. That's Sunrise Blend. <laughs> I already did that. How about this? Mellow Peppery and Spring. Summer Classic. Here we go. Summer Classic. The owner gives the adventure another cup of tea. How'd you like this one? Steaming cup of Summer Classic. A cup of what? Summer Classic. A brew of spring leaf, mellow flower, and peppery seed. It's not bad. Great to hear. You just take your time with that then. Let me know if you want another. And then the demon guy comes, I assume. Have a seat. Have a seat. Well, what's for the wow? What's for the welcome? Not that I dislike it, but what are you? He's here getting a drink, just like you. Right. Well, I'll just be. Don't tell me you're leaving before you finish your drink. You want to take your time with that. It's hot. So what do you have? Hey, horns. What? I say, what you have? All right. I guess I have my usual. Routine? You say no? <laughs> yes. Okay, so his usual, though. What's his usual again? He says right here. Usual horns, dreamy potions. So, mellow flower, sugar shroom, and dark tonic. Mm, mellow flower, and... What was it again? Sugar shroom. Yeah, sugar shroom. Whee! Gotta do it correctly. Dreamy potion. 
Yona passes a cup over to the horn man. Here. Your usual. Ah, perfect. This is delicious. Of course it is. Who do you think I am? Who do you th who the hell you think I am? Somebody who doesn't have enough customers to really run a tavern? Hm, I guess I can't argue with that. You have a usual. Well, I come here pretty often. I see. Dot dot dot. So, uh, what brings you here? What? To the tavern, I mean. Can a guy just want a cup of tea? I was just asking. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. You can go first. Right. So, um, do you, uh, like tea? Huh? Tea. Do you like it? Do you like it? Uh, yes. I like tea. Very riveting conversation. Um, go ahead. Actually, I think I'll just go. You haven't even finished your tea. I'm not very thirsty. Okay. Alright, <laughs> that's another awkward interaction. Wow, he sure got up quick. He must really not like me, huh? I guess it makes sense. Maybe he just has something to do. He didn't even finish his drink. It's okay. It's no secret that we have a history. Sitting together at a tavern doesn't change that. I think I'll head back too. I enjoy the tea. Yeah, that was awkward. Even for me. Maybe Horns really just doesn't want to talk. I won't know for sure unless I talk to him more, though. How can I get him to open up a bit more? I'll brew him a nice cup. Get him more relaxed first. Then he'll probably open up a bit more. He'll probably want to talk when they venture around, though. It'll have to be when Horns and I are alone. Hmm. Okay. So it's interesting, like, time loop, you know? I feel like the, the idea is that, you know, you, you start another day and then you talk to the same people, but then in different contexts, I guess, and then you learn from that, and then you do it again. It's weird, though, because, you know, in the beginning, it's always like, oh, this guy that we don't know goes, comes in. Comes in the car. Pretty hot out tonight, right? What can I get you? Or something to calm the nerves? How do you know? Just a hunch. Judges, let's see. I'm gonna start a cup of tea. Hmm. Maybe, uh... Um, I'll give him the usual, I guess. Give him the usual. But then when I get the chance to serve him again, then I just won't do it. Because then he'll leave early and then we can focus on the demon guy, right? It's nice, relaxing, feeling better now. It's a bit nervous. Hmm. Yeah, same kind of conversation. It's just weird, you know? Like, yeah, you're a new face. You would think it'd be like day two or day three or day four or something, but... I mean, I guess it doesn't make sense to do that, because then you have, like, so much dialogue you need to... Maybe... And then you can also say, like, you know, we have a... You could have, like, not just, like, every specific line be new, but, like, if it's the same kind of, like, path, it could be, like, we had a chat, you know, and then we skip to the part that's new. I feel like it would be better game design, I think, but, I don't know. Because then you have to do this, you know, you just skip everything. I can also press this button. I don't know what it does though. I, I don't want to accidentally go to a choice. You know, let's try it. Okay, yeah, okay. It, it just, just skips to the decision. And I'll, this time I will not brew tea. I will say no. Nah. Actually, you know what? Let me try that again. It's your first time here and all. I'll give you a more normal tavern experience. What do you have? Uh, you have a menu? Exactly. Okay, yeah, okay. Same thing as the first time you said that. It really is a time loop, though, you <laughs> know? Time travel. Time travel game. Not trying to get real. Okay, just... just... Okay. And then, Dreamy Potion, right? Because the, the guy left, and then the demon guy came, and it's like, we have my usual Dreamy Potion, right? It's some mellow flower and sugar shroom with a dash of dark tonic. Hmm, that's the one. I've been craving it all day. That bad? It's been a long one. Well, just sit right there. I'll get that cup of ready for you. Starts to brew another cup of tea. All right, dark tonic. It is uh, is again dreamy potion. Mm. Mellow flower, sugar shroom. Like, mellow flower and sugar shroom right there. Just just put some dark tonic, you know, just some like dark energy into the tea. Don't worry about it. The owner slides a cup across the counter. Here, a cup of dreamy potion just for you. Ah, that really hits the spot. 
I love your brew of dreamy potion. It's funny. I think the I think it's intended for you to like fail the first time. Because obviously, how you well, as the player, how would you know what his usual is? Obviously, you don't know. But I wonder if you can get lucky. You know? It's really rare, like unlikely that you would get his usual uh, on the first try. But if you could, I wonder what happens. I don't know. Anyway, I can feel the stress going away. Are your denizens acting up again? Eh, no more than usual. It's just a bit tiring. Everyone always expects me to be on duty, let's call it. Are you like the demon prince or something? The demon prince from hell? I'm a scary demon lord after all. I can't just be scary one minute and a regular, regular guy the next. Somebody who goes around kidnapping princesses can't just also keep a flower garden. Isn't that re is that reference to one of NPC Casey's games? Uh, so I act a certain way to keep up my image, but that's not who you are. Well, part of it is. I know everyone looks up to me and how I act. I take a lot of pride in what I do. But at the end of the day, sometimes I just want to take time off from everything. Have a chat with somebody who doesn't know anything about me. You're always free to come by for a drink. I appreciate that. But even with the situation earlier, with the other customer, he saw me and just left. I'm just another guy here for a drink, but I guess maybe we have too much history. Do you though? Hmm? Do you really have that much history? Sure, you've met each other a couple times at work. <laughs> work. As in like, you know, they fight each other. But you've never really talked before, have you? You could probably count the number of things you know about him on one hand. <laughs> You're probably right. I guess my chance to find out more is just walk through that door, though. And even if I want to know more about him, judging from that reaction earlier, he probably doesn't even want to talk to me. I mean, what do we even have to talk about? There's no reason for us to talk, really. And it's a bit weird one to, uh, after so long, right? Sorry, I'm in a weird mood today. I should probably head back. Oh? Nah, I still have some paperwork to clean up. You work too hard. It's all for the good of the people. Huh. Paperwork for the Demon Lord. The Horn Man waves and leaves the tavern. Okay, so I know that Horns wants to talk. Get to know our adventurer friend a little bit better. But Horns thinks the adventurer isn't interested. How do I change that? If I can just get the adventurer to stick around a bit longer, brew him a second cup, maybe, and that'll get him to stay long enough to give Horns a chance. Okay, a little hint there. Tavern for tea. Loop 5. Or is it 4 or 5? I don't know. Tavern for tea, endless 8. Literally, time powers. Our tavern keeper literally has time powers, I think. So I guess, yeah, the last thing we should do is uh, do what we did before, right? Hmm. Ooh, boop, boop. Okay, and something to calm the nerves. How about this? Dreamy potion. Or actually, that's not dreamy potion, it's something else. It's bittersweet love, actually. Oh, and the same thing? Oh, okay, just skip that. Ruti, yes. Okay, what if I give him dreamy potion? That'd be interesting to have. Metal flower, right? Here's the adventure another cup of tea. How do you like this one? Steaming cup of dreamy potion. A cup of what? Dreamy potion. It's not bad. Okay, great to hear. And brew tea. And here's another dreamy potion. Boop, boop, my bad. Haha, you two are drinking the same tea. Haha, -ha, now bond over it. Bond over it, fools. Here. Your usual. Ah, perfect. It's delicious. Of course it is. Who do you think I am? Okay, I read that. Can't gonna argue with that. We have a usual. Yeah, come here pretty often. To the tavern. Got a guy just want a cup of tea. I was just asking. Uh, so, um, do you like tea? You like tea? Do you like it? Uh, yes, I like a tea. Amazing. Go ahead. Actually, I think I'll just go. You have fish or tea? I'm not very thirsty. Huh? That? I didn't do it. It didn't work. Got it quick. I don't like you, huh? Does it make sense? Hmm. I'm not a loco. Can you explain the details? Only if you don't mind talking about it, of course. Doesn't that go against this tavern's rules? It's fine as long as you're not naming names. My rules for privacy are to protect my customers. Okay, so this is new. If you keep within those rules, you're fine. Well, the guy from earlier. Horns. 
horns. Then we met a number of times for work, under rather unfriendly circumstances. I mean, we're not supposed to be—we're、uh, not supposed to get along. That's just not how th- how this works. Why not? Well, I'm an adventurer. Adventurers don't get chummy with people with horns. Let's put it that way. Especially not the person with the biggest horns. Yeah, I'm sure he feels the same way. He would have at least finished his tea. Hmm. I don't know about that. Huh? Let me tell you why this tavern has the rules that it does. Outside of these walls, my customers have their own stories, and with that comes a lot of baggage. I want my customers to leave that at the door, but I know it's not that easy. That said, though, everyone who comes here knows about these rules, and still they come here asking for a drink. You have your own reasons for coming here, and so does Horns. And he didn't have to order a drink. He saw you were here, and he still made his order. The question is, what are your reasons for being here? I, I just wanted to get away from it all, even if it's just for one evening. Get away from what? Being an adventurer, I guess. It comes with a lot of expectations. Slay the dragon, save the princess, and live happily ever after. Sure, it sounds nice on paper, but what if that's not the happily ever after I'm looking for? What kind of ending are you looking for then? I don't know. I guess that's why I'm here. I try to find it. Sorry, always serve his tea. Huh, I know that, but I just wanted to go somewhere that I could do that. Just drink tea, maybe have a chat. But I guess Horns and I don't really have anything to talk about, at all. Thanks for listening. Not at all. Is it okay if I come again? I never turn away a customer. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Okay. To learn more about him, well then, it's clear both Horns and the Adventure would talk given the chance. Problem is, both of them are absolutely useless. <laughs> muda, 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 muda. They're gonna need a conversation starter, something simple they can bond over. Maybe they're drinking the same kind of tea. Well, that's what I did last time. <laughs> no, that might not be enough. Damn it! It would have to be a very memorable tea. Hmm. The Adventure did say that he doesn't like sour drinks. Maybe if the drink was very, very sour. What? Okay, is that what you're supposed to do? Like, hey, I don't like sour drinks. Too bad. Drink it. All of the sour. Is I guess is what we're supposed to do. I I I,、uh, I guess that's the hit. Give him a give him a sour drink. Is that ours? Okay. Well, first of all, you don't give him a sour drink. Give him the give him whatever this is. I guess. Brutality, brisk nectar. Boop, boop, boop. Brew tea, okay. Now you give him something exactly sour: tangy berry, peppery seed, and dark tonic. Maybe. What does this create? Odd potion. <laughs> okay. Here you go. How's the tea? This is sour. I thought you might like to try it anyway. I don't like sour drinks. The man leaves without saying anything else. Damn it. Okay, that was my bad. I need this drink to be very sour, enough that I'll make him pause before sipping. Oh well, I'll just try again. Try again. I'll prank him next time. I'll get you next time. Okay. So I mean, well, you gotta make a soup really, really sour. How's that gonna work? Try again. Let's let's try again. A time loop loops again. Okay, so sh- okay, <laughs> just do that. Hey, I-, I wasn't able to do that before. Okay, so you can't do that normally. So that's why. Okay, so that's why it's limited to this. Well, you can put like two, I guess, but two, and then that's it. No, no. What happens if I do that? What does that even create? I could be very, very, very spicy. Question, question, question. <laughs> I could do that. Kono, kono rikuyom da. Here, a cup of tea just for you. Ha <laughs> ha! This smells very. Are you sure you brew this correctly? Just give it a chance. You'll want to wait a bit before drinking, though. It tastes better if you let it sit. If you say so. Anyway, while you're waiting, we're just pranking these people. I don't know why. Hey, horns! Just here for a, just for a drink. That's okay. Actually, I just have the thing for you. 
I just gave this other gentleman a cup of my latest brew. I already have it in my pot. Wanna try some? Well, you recommend it, I'm sure it's good. Pour me a cup too. Here, have this like pure sour tea. It smells kind of strong. Yeah, that's just how it is. I'm just gonna ruin my reputation as a tea brewer and prank these people just for a laugh <laughs> and then my business gets closed down. Uh, I think the tea is probably good to drink now. If you would both take a sip. Cheers then. Cheers. Bloop. Bleh. What are you putting in this? So, I guess you don't like it? it? Tastes like I just ate a whole lemon. Actually, it was tangy berry. This is absolutely terrible. Right? Ah, this tea, it's awful. Sorry, I'm still... Can I have some water? Wash the taste out of my mouth. I have some of that too. Who possessed you to make you serve this? You see, it was this... It was this time loop that caused me to create this particular scenario. To set you up so they could talk to each other. Normally, I'm all for your weird drinks, but this is... This is rubbish. Okay, that hurts a little. It's not that bad, is it? It's pretty bad. Well, let me have a sip. Okay, so... Maybe this is... Not great. That's an understatement. I'll get you both new drinks. On the house. Sorry to start you this on your first time here. Oh, you've never come here before? Huh? Me? <laughs> Who else? <laughs> yeah, I just came because I saw a poster. I thought the tea would be better, though. Hey, you liked the first cup well enough, didn't you? You can't blame a guy for complaining after a drink like that, man. Watch you, you're not getting any more tea. Granted, drinks usually are much better. You come here a lot? I wouldn't say a lot. I just when I want to take a break. You've been here three nights just this past week. I get tired, okay? Weren't you going to get us new drinks? Right, right. I'll be right back. Just sit tight, you two. The owner leaves to prepare more tea. Dot, dot, dot. Anyway, what about you? Huh? What brings you here? Same as you, to be honest. I just want a break. What from? I mean, it always looks like you're enjoying yourself while you're doing the whole hero shtick. It looks that way to you, huh? You telling me you aren't? How about you? You want time off from being a demon lord? Demon lord? You know, I didn't recognize you at first since you had your hair down. Ah, uh, this? I always spike it up when I'm adventuring. <laughs> well, yeah, just like, uh, you know, in the adventure, uh, not adventure, well, why did I say adventure quest? That's a different game. Dragon quest. You know, the main character always has spiky hair. Spiky Goku hair because it's uh, the art is often uh, drawn by Akira Toroyama, was it? You know, the artist for Dragon Ball Z. Anyway, it's too much hassle otherwise. Then why do you even bother? It's just part of the image, right? Gotta be an RPG protagonist. Spiky haired adventurer. Big hair, big sword, big attitude. That's what people expect, right? So I have to live up to that. Yeah, it's the same for me. I have an image to keep up. And part of that image requires scaring people around and uh, kidnapping princesses. But it all gets very boring after a while. It's not very fun having everyone be scared of you. Yeah, well, it's not very fun having to go on adventures all the time either. Sometimes a guy just wants to take a day off and have a drink at the tavern. Yeah, that. You know, I was kind of freaked out when I when you came in, but... You're pretty easy to talk to. I could say the same to you. It's been a while since I've talked this much. <laughs> same. Really? I mean, I'm stuck all by myself. Since I'm an evil demon lord and all. But don't you talk to your princess? She's not my princess. I just happen to save her. <laughs> this is a weird line. That kind of happily ever after isn't really my cup of tea anyway. Ah, oh, yes, cup of tea. This is playing a game about tea, huh? What is, what is then? What? What kind of happily ever after are you looking for? I don't know yet. I think for now, I'll settle for a chat at the tavern over a cup of tea. I think I can help with that. Hey, do you- Actually, I'm kind of hungry. Okay. You can go first. Right, well, uh, after that awful tea, I'm gonna move for something else. Do you want to go somewhere else? Maybe a tavern that actually has ale? We could talk a bit more. If you want. Yeah, that sounds great. I mean, sure. 
That sounds good. Shall we then? Do you think we should say something first? What, to the owner? Since he went to make more tea. Nah, it's fine. I have a feeling he didn't make out any anyway. What? Why? I don't know. But even the bad sour tea. The owner here has never made me a cup of tea I didn't like. Everyone has their off days, right? Maybe. But still a bit convenient. I guess it doesn't matter though. Where do you want to go? No preference really. Somewhere quiet would be nice though. I know just the place. And therefore, they go on their date, and then our business is ruined because we get no money from that. Anyway, but we go bankrupt. The adventure leaves the tavern. Oh, where the horn man remains. I'll be right out. I just need to put my things away. And you can come out from the back now. I know you're listening. The owner returns to the counter. <laughs> Was I too obvious? No, I just had a hunch. I should have just stayed in the back then. How do you do it? How do I do what? You always have the right drink. Not just for me. I've seen you do it with other customers too. And sometimes, I feel like you know things about me that I've never even told you. Hmm. It's just part of the job. Being a good tavern keeper means knowing what my customers want. You've never pried into my past, so I'll show you the same respect and not pry into yours. But if you ever want to talk, I'm happy to listen for a change too. Thanks. For the tea. And everything else. The horned man leaves the tavern too. Is he? Well, actually, is this... Well, that kind of implies that actually we do have time powers. This is just we have time powers. It's actually a thing. Uh, so Horns has caught on to me. No matter. It's not like he'd ever guess. Which is rare in this part of the world, after all. Especially ones who look like me. My brand of magic is a bit unusual too, but in any case, everything wrapped up nicely so my work here is done. I wonder who will come through my door tomorrow. Okay, I guess that's it? Is that it? Oh, thank you for playing! Okay, just to conclude. So it really is, we have like time powers, that really is the, the twist. I was wondering about that. There you go, and it's closed. And I guess, uh, yeah, that's pretty short. Just a pretty cool, short, cute little game on Ichio about an adventure, a demon prince, a demon prince, or demon lord, really, and uh, a tavern for tea. There you go. That was it. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.